This video we're going to talk about just a generalistic overview of where things are at in 9.0 as opposed to 8.7. I'm sure most of you who are watching this video have already seen um, some type of an overview webinar or some other information on the features and benefits of 9.0. But this video we're just going to cover you know, where things are in relation to where they were in 8.7. Let's start with our home tab. You'll see there's a, a little bit more um, real estate here. The tabs have been moved all the way to the top of the screen. Um, we have our new job dialog open, uh, print, uh, email jobs. Pretty much the same layout that was in 8.7. We still have our navigation buttons to navigate between pages. Uh, our zoom and pan tools. We have the measure section um, with our scale tool and dimension tool. Uh, we've added the auto scale option uh, as a quick drop down. Now something that's different between 9.0 and 8.7, um, you can now auto scale on any image file that has DPI information related to it. We have our takeoff section. Uh, within our takeoff section we also now have drop down tools. These tools, as you can see, there are a few examples, uh, are totally customizable. You can do whatever you want to those. You can also build your own tools, um, and you can add scripting capabilities to those tools. This will also be where uh, tools from 8.7, such as the Joyce tool, uh, will be located under the appropriate menu. We have our digitizer section where we can record, add new section, and our annotations has changed just slightly. Still have our overlay button. Uh, we have your note tool, uh, our highlighter options, and the image button which allows you to bring in another image and place it on the document. For instance, a, a company logo. Our page tab, uh, we have a whole new icon set, uh, pretty much the same tools that were in 8.7 here. Uh, we've got the ability to add pages, uh, our renaming tools, um, we have the rotation tools for the pages, flip horizontally and vertically, uh, image tools we can crop as a new image, um, invert the image to uh, a black background. Crop as a new image functions the same way, primarily you can only use that on TIFF files. Uh, the other tools, uh, set origins, offset origin, um, close page is pretty self-explanatory. Your origins are typically related to third-party applications. Underneath the other tab, we have our takeoff items, and this is something you'll want to take note of. Uh, in 8.7, we referred to everything as a digitizer. Now we're kind of getting away from that terminology and, and referring to everything as a takeoff item. Uh, so we have our takeoff items where we can rotate the actual takeoff items, uh, flip the items vertically and horizontally. Uh, calculation tools, uh, again, our pitch finder and our triangulation measurements. Uh, page conversions. You can now download um, your images to uh, any mobile device. Uh, we still have the ability to zip a job you know, for archiving, unzip the same job for, from an archive. Uh, you still have your Excel file uh, attachments, uh, and then save a screenshot. Under our View tab, primarily the same, uh, not a lot has changed here. Show labels, show digitizers, hide digitizers. Um, hide and show dimensions, hide and show notes, and make full page adjustments to labels, uh, dimensions, and notes. We've added our estimating tab. The estimating tab is slightly different than it was in 8.7. Um, you do have the ability now to edit uh, any of the fields just by clicking on the field and, and typing in that field so you can now edit, edit your uh, properties right from this screen. Uh, you can add your folders, new items, delete items, add additional columns, uh, pretty much the same tools, just a little bit different look um, with some added functionality uh, as far as being able to edit. Um, you can also save different layouts in your estimating tab. So if I wanted to add uh, a couple extra columns uh, to use while I'm doing my takeoff. I could certainly add those columns, save that as a new layout. 
our lists are primarily the same as they were in 8.7 as far as the simple list is concerned. If I were to create a new simple list uh, to use in a property, give the list a name, um, that would actually be your property name. When I'm selected on that name, this now becomes my list box to the right. Make your list and you can pull that into your properties. Now, you'll also have the ability, and, and there's still some development going on here, but you have the ability to actually connect to like an access database and actually pull your list in this way. You can bring that list into uh, your properties. Again, that list could have you know an, a name, it could have a price, and you could set those. It gets pretty advanced from that point forward. Uh, there'll be more videos on, on those specific items later. Uh, under our templates tab, um, we've kind of separated the uh, blue and gray tabs that you had in, in your estimating screen in 8.7 where your gray tabs were your, were your job tabs and your blue tabs were your uh, local tabs that loaded with every job. Uh, you also had your network tabs in there. Essentially all of your templates are replacing your, um, your blue and green tabs. Your job information is going to be held on only under the estimating tab itself. So within your templates you have the ability to create uh, multiple tabs so you can have as many tabs as you like here. Um, you have your new folder options, new items, uh, you can specify new areas, linears, and counts. Um, you can create uh, uh, a new item from a type. Um, types will be in another video that's going to be more advanced settings where you can actually go in and customize the uh, type file for essentially setting all the default properties of your takeoff item and then you can create a new tool from you know your types uh, copy and paste your columns new tabs uh, you can specify your forms for an item so you can actually build the different layout um, and you have your properties refresh and then your import and export options and your navigation arrows under the settings, uh, you pretty much have all the same settings that you used to have in 8.7. Um, we've kind of recategorized some things so they're located in a few different spots. Uh, your data storage, um, the data storage locations is the replacement for your file paths. Um, in 8.7, you were kind of uh, limited to your local and network options. Now with your data storage locations, you can create as many different storages as you like. Um, so you can create, you know, network. You've got local by default, um, but you could have uh, several different locations defined. You have your iPod uh, mobile device sync path. Uh, this will be different for every device. Under your general settings, again, some of the basic settings that we had in 8.7 default display measurements, uh, your default metric units. Um, we're actually going to have language support in 9.0 um, for multi multilingual. Um, company information, customer number, PIN number, that's not a real customer number. Uh, you can have your user ID in here so you can keep a list of different users and your affiliate ID if you have one. Uh, our keyboard shortcuts uh, the interface, uh, you can now select different colors, options for different views. Um, we have the under the hood section, which will be covered in another video. This is a section that, um, unless you really understand what you're doing, you, you don't want to mess around in there too much. Uh, show your types in, in the uh, template screen. Uh, show your full screen cursor options, tool tips, things like that. Zoom and pan options, you know, for setting your zoom and pan speeds. Uh, the annotations, we've now grouped all together. This used to be under the graphics tab in, in 8.7. Uh, so you can set your default label settings, default note settings, default dimension settings, uh, and default legend settings. Um, and then your options to show area labels and legend by default. Under the graphics tab, these are your graphic enhancements, um, optimizations for the images, uh, CAD options for black and white. Your takeoff tools, this is where you can set your 
default uh, transparencies on your different takeoff items. Um, set your point size, set the node size, uh, your options for verifying points when recording and confirm uh, when recording dimensions. Uh, your snapping options. Notifications, you know, how do you want to be notified of any updates? Uh, if you want to sign up to be a beta tester, you can get there by clicking the beta tester button. Uh, and then various warnings um, that you can turn on and off. Digitizer tablet settings, if you're connecting to a Jatico digitizer. And your property groups. Um, this was something we added just because we got a large request for people to be able to specify their property groups in a 